You're absolutely certain. He had a blight fetish. He's the source. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you sooner. I had to bring him in to confirm my suspicions. I couldn't risk it. This means you can finally put your doubts to rest. It was Toby all along. And where is Toby now? If you are correct, and he's the source of the withering, he needs to be kept on a tight leash. He should be here, under guard. I have Krista keeping an eye on him. But you know just as I do that severing requires a willing heart. Toby has to come to us on his own, which is why I need you to do something else for me. A willing heart must be free from attachment. And I worry Toby and Eric's friendship could become a problem. They've been friends a long time. All the way back to the steel mill days. And you're his wife. He trusts you. Rachel, look at me. Nothing else is more important right now. Stopping the withering is why the Foundation exists. Xavier's right. Do whatever it takes. Tell Eric that Toby did something unforgivable or give him an ultimatum. An ultimatum? Toby, or you. You would have me risk my marriage for this? Whatever it takes. <sighs> yeah! No, you fucking apologize to me. You're the one who ruined my life. You ruined all of our lives. I'm sorry I ever had such a worthless, cowardly, indignant little brat for a daughter. I should have strangled you in your crib and saved myself the trouble! Oh, God! If I was a good daughter, I'd get roses, her favorite. But the cheapest option is lilies. She hated lilies. My dad would be furious. Seems like a tedious detail with so much else going on. Why not let Orson pick? Funerals are for the living, after all. You still look tense. Did you take that pill I gave you? No. I didn't think it was necessary. I really think it would have helped you. Well, I work in pharmaceuticals. I generally avoid meds that aren't prescribed to me by a doctor. I understand. You can't escape your blood! Everything okay? I'm fine. Just a lot on my mind. I... asked around about your family. What you've been through. I wonder if there's more to work through than just which flowers to pick. Maybe it's really about what you want the last word to be to your mother. Some closure? I don't know if that's possible. It feels like whatever I say, I will just make someone angry. Oh? If I say nice things about her, my sister Brit will say I wasn't being radically authentic. The truth is, my mother was a monster. But would I be any better, dragging her name through the mud at her own funeral? No one's a monster for speaking their truth. Maybe I should just forgive her. <laughs> She'd really hate that. I think forgiveness only brings us peace if it's sincere. I don't have much experience with forgiveness. Or peace, for that matter. Maybe it's time to find a little of both for yourself. <laughs>